Be sure to watch our day one in San Francisco, where we visited Pier 39, ate some great clam chowder at our favorite restaurant, walked all along the boardwalk of Fisherman's Wharf, stopped by the famous sourdough bread making company, Bowden's, and enjoyed the sights and sounds of San Francisco. We are Marlene and Tomas. Welcome to Passports. Driving into San Francisco is quite nice. The city is just beautiful. You pass Oracle Park, which is a spectacle in itself. And the Bay Bridge is humongous. How much is the hop on, hop off? Um, so it's $59 for a one day pass. So okay, great. Thank you. Hopefully we'll be warm enough for one hour we can suffer. Okay. We're going. We're going. This is the first time we've ever done this. And you don't need tickets in advance. You just walk by and the guy says, hey, take our boat. And we say, ooh, okay, how much? <laughs> now we're going. Those were California brown pelicans. There is no bridge. I can't believe how the clouds just completely hide it and we're right near it. We're going under the bridge, but you still can't see a thing. But I'm gonna steal footage from our other time when we went to San Francisco where it was clear day, apparently very rare. So this fog is typical, especially for July in San Francisco. The bridge is always covered in this uh, fog or marine layer. It really does make spectacular pictures though. It's very mystical. Now this was when we came back in October and we kind of lucked out and we got beautiful, beautiful weather and we did the boat ride again. As you can see, it's gorgeous. Alcatraz Island was the cool other part of this boat trip. Three guys, Frank Morris and the Angman brothers, kind of out of their cell over the course of several months. They got into the water down here by this ferry boat. Then they were never seen or heard from again. They found the rafts on Angel Island about a mile and a half away. Completely deflated, torn apart, no longer functioning. The warden at the time insisted that they drowned, but no bodies were ever recovered. You guys will have to decide for yourself whether or not those three guys made it out of here. I personally like to think that they did. We're getting quite a bit of wind from the right side of the vessel, so the right. Hey, this looks fabulous. This time we got a cup of soup because when you have it in the bowl, the sourdough bowl, it was more sourdough bread than soup. So that's gonna be yummy. We ordered this bread on the side and the people next to us had these tacos and said that they were phenomenal. So here we go. The food was excellent at the Blue Mermaid, but you can't get a bad cup of clam chowder anywhere in San Francisco. It's just all so good. 
as you'll see in a second, Ghirardelli, this is the side street. There's a beautiful park in front of it that overlooks the Golden Gate Bridge. And um, they have the best ice cream ever. And there's free parking all around the city, basically. Unless you're parking right at like Fisherman's Wharf, there's no parking except you have to get a parking structure and it's expensive. But from here, you can totally walk. It's a quick walk to Fisherman's Wharf to Pier 39. And um, so it's a great way to not have to deal with parking. So pretty here. So the nice thing is you can walk all the way from Ghirardelli Square all the way down to Fisherman's Wharf. And it is not a long walk at all. This place is super crowded. But we're gonna get our caramel sundae that we always get because it's so good. I think I lost my hubby. I found you. I found you. Oh my gosh, so busy. This is the one we get. It's so good. Ocean breeze. Are these samples or to go on your ice cream? Great. Wow. Goodness. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, so good. Ocean Beach. Oh yes, the Ocean Beach. Mm. Oh god. Salted caramel is just outstanding. And this is a um, macchiato cream. Oh. That's pretty right there. Yeah. Bye bye, Ghirardelli. Wow, look at this street. I hope the video can show how tilted this street is, I'm sure. We're following the cable car. Just do to the right right now. So that's all right. We are at Lombard Street. It's to the left there. And we'll go down it. So while we're waiting in line for Lombard Street and it's quiet, let me fill you in on Ghirardelli. That little Sunday that we had, which is phenomenal, and every time we come we will get one, was $15.95. So 16 buckaroos. It's a little pricey there. I do think they take advantage, but it's so popular as you see from the footage. And they have literally four uh, stands and restaurants there where you can get the same, <laughs> you can get the same ice cream sundae. Uh, so, and every one of them had lines. So uh, they also had a stand where you can get samples of their hot fudge and some of the bark that they make and you could probably get samples of their homemade whipped cream so that's kind of cool now we're gonna wait in line to go down the crooked street Lombard Street we went last time and it's just something really fun to do uh, if if you're here you need to come and if you don't want to drive down it or you don't have a car I don't know the name of this park but you can just uh, Google the park at Lombard and I imagine you could take buses and things from there or you could drive, if you don't want to drive down Lombard Street, um, you can park all around this area and uh, there's free parking. It's just parking in the streets and neighborhood. That's the line to get to the Crooked Street. There's the stairs to go up to the park. Very pretty. So if you need to GPS this, Lombard and Hyde is where the Crooked Street is.
worth the five minute wait. Totally worth it. So unique and different. It's so windy. <laughs> Driving these streets are scary. Are they scary, honey? No. No? Oh, <laughs> So this is actually Alamo Park and it sits right in a nice big square and there's the famous painted ladies of San Francisco and boy did we luck out. The view is unbelievable here today. What's cool about San Francisco is that you actually don't really need a drone here because it's so hilly you can just drive up to a hilltop on a street where there's always free parking usually except down by the wharf then you have to get into a parking garage and look what you have you have a park and these pictures and this view it's just gorgeous the famous painted ladies of San Francisco they have these pretty parks right in the middle of the city this one's quite lovely, and of course you see the city everywhere and the painted ladies. We're gonna try to see if we can see the Golden Gate Bridge from here. Oh, you can get to the street from here. So if you wanna get to the painted ladies, just uh, put in your Google Maps, um, Alamo Square Park and that'll get you right to them and the painted ladies are also known as postcard row and it's the one of the most photographed pictures in San Francisco I'm guessing that the Golden Gate Bridge is another one nice street <laughs> I don't think I would want to drive stick up here in San Francisco. Look at these streets, holy moly. Definitely the rich area of town. We're on Marina Way. And it goes all the way on the waterfront to the Golden Gate Bridge. It's several miles. You can walk it, hike it, bike it, and you can sit and just look at the water. I'd venture to say that these properties are some of the most expensive in San Francisco. Overlooking the bay and the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, and Alcatraz. Okay, we're going on Scenic Drive 49. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. <laughs> park you can pay to park here there's plenty of spaces even when it's really crowded there is just so much space to enjoy in San Francisco and there was a little area at the end where you could see the Golden Gate Bridge perfectly so we finally the fog lifted and we got uh, some pictures of the Golden Gate Bridge there's mostly free parking everywhere but there's parking meters too so you can pay to park now we're going to go try to find Chinatown and Little Italy. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! It is such a pleasure driving around this town, San Francisco. It's so beautiful. You see different stuff everywhere you go. Here we go! Whoa! Oh, holy moly! These streets are scary, especially going up them. Going down, not so much. Oh, you're gonna turn? Oh, that's okay.
Now we're in Little Italy. Pretty little park with a beautiful church. Huh. Must be good gelato with the line like this. I don't, I actually don't know. It could be really good. Wow, look at these places. Looks like they're the places to eat, huh? The golden pizza, honey. Look at the line. This must be pretty decent. It's got a line like this. No. Yeah? There's another self-driving car. That's our third one we've seen. This one's an SUV. Look at these tables. Vesuvio Cafe is a North Beach cafe and it was a very popular hangout for writers and poets and other artists from the beat generation in the 1950s. Some of its famous artists and uh, poets were Jack Kerouac, Neil Cassidy, and Lawrence Ferlinghetti. Today it's a popular tourist attraction and the cafe has a full bar and they don't serve any food but they encourage you to bring your own and sit and enjoy the views and all the articles and stuff that are hanging on the walls on the inside. It's a really cool place to visit. Okay, we just left Little Italy. <laughs> now we're walking in Chinatown. You can get lost in these streets easily. Chinatown is very big and so is Little Italy. There's another self-driving car. It still looks like the same one. I think we're in the heart of Chinatown now. Do you feel like you're in Hong Kong? Here we go, it's starting. I want a tea in this cute tea house and they're closed. Check out our merch store with our logo and cool travel designs. All of our clothes are made with 100% cotton or organic cotton. All colors and sizes. Tees, tanks, hoodies, and more. Along with accessories like mugs, glasses, cell phone cases, and masks. Please support our channel and get some cool merch. Store link in the description.